Team Kesteva, we have two, count it, two civil PE exam example problems today to get you ready for this fall's upcoming civil PE exam. And if you haven't yet, do the number one thing, which is subscribe down below, join the team of engineers from around the world, and help us by helping you enhance your own professional career. Without further ado, see you guys in there. We have two construction PE exam problems here. Uh, even if you're not taking the construction specific, don't click off because you could very well find these in the morning portion of the exam, which covers everybody. A construction crew consists of three laborers, three operators, and one foreman. What is the crew hour rate and uh, labor hour rate? So we always underline crew hour rate and labor hour rate. So the way that I'm going to break this down is you have a number of different type of construction workers. You have laborers, operators, and uh, a foreman. Each of them cost a different salary per hour. So first of all, let's get a lump sum of how much uh, they cost as a combined crew per hour. And for that, we're gonna go three laborers, so I'm gonna say 3L at $55 an hour, plus three operators, O, at $80 an hour plus one foreman, F, at $90 an hour. All that added up together gets us a total of $495 per hour. And this is US dollars for everyone here in the US. Um, so right there, boom, that is the crew hour rate. But now they're asking the other question of what is the labor hour rate? And the labor hour rate is actually just your uh, crew hour rate divided by the number of uh, people in the crew, no matter what their specialty is. So for that, it's gonna be $495. It's gonna be divided by three laborers plus three operators plus one foreman, which is a seven person crew total, which gets us $70.70 per hour. Bing, bang, boom. That's all it is. And if we go over here, green, we always go for right answers. So 95, uh, 4.95 and 70.7 .7 right there. That's gonna be my final answer. Moving on to number two. So if you haven't yet, and I don't know why you wouldn't have yet, but subscribe down below. We got a cozy seat in the auditorium ready for you. Uh, we have 120 foot long by 11 foot high concrete wall um, that needs to be constructed. The wall needs to be formed on both sides. Concrete forming crews consist of four carpenters, three laborers, and two operators. What is the cost of labor for form work? So this whole problem we're gonna go do blue. So what is the cost uh, of labor for the form work? So how much lump sum is it gonna cost in order co to construct the form work to make the wall? And they give you this little diagram down here of the wall. Um, well, what I would do, and again, they show you hourly wages per each type of worker. Um, they also give you the productive, uh, blah, blah, blah. they also give you the productivity of the crew, tells you how fast they're able to construct it at 80 square feet of uh, form work per hour. So first, what I'm gonna do here is find the total area of form work that needs to be constructed. So we have 120 feet by 11 feet high, and you might be thinking, boom, there's your there's your area of your, your wall right there, right? Well, hang on, you still need to multiply by two because you need form work on both sides of the concrete future wall in order to make the concrete wall. So you have this guy here, and you have this wall right here. So you need to multiply that area by two, which gets us a total area of 2,640 square feet. Now, what I want to do is figure out, well, how much does it cost cumulative per hour for this crew to work? And kind of like what we did above, we need to say we have four carpenters, so 4C times $70 an hour, plus we have three laborers, so 3L times $55 an hour, plus two operators, O, at $80 an hour. Well, they stayed consistent with the pricing, at least. Operators are both $80. That added together, so summation, equals $605 for this crew per hour. The next thing we're gonna need is this bit of information, the productivity of the crew. Now, the crew can construct 80 square feet of wall per hour. We have 2,640 square feet of wall. So, if we take the total amount of wall that needs to be constructed, divide that by 80, 
square feet per hour, that'll get us a total amount of hours that it will take to construct this, that it will take this crew to construct this wall. That equals 33 hours to complete uh, this formwork. Then we can use that 33 hours down below here in combination with our crew hour rate like we solved for in the previous problem by just taking $605 per hour for the crew and we know the crew is going to take 33 hours to construct the wall. That units cancel out, hours, hours cancel out to give you a lump sum in dollar value of $19,965 dollars. So going green, that's going to be right on the money. Answer C. Remember, it's not always about how difficult a problem is. Sometimes it's about repetition and driving these puppies home. It's about doing it consistently and often until you are a master at it. So you may be looking here today and saying, man, these weren't that difficult. But just remember, it's not always about how difficult it is. It's just as important to sharpen the things that you're already maybe good at so that you can be even better at them. Uh, this is Rich with Team Kestava, and I'll check all of you next time. Later.